Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be adding some really cool modifiers to really spice up this design. You can definitely 3D print this design, uh, but we're going to make some more variations just to really show you the flexibility and the power of your modifiers here. So let's go ahead and save. We'll do file, save as, and let's call this maybe Blender UI modifiers because we're getting a little crazy here. So we just want to make another version of it. So Blender UI modifier, save as. The first modifier I want to show you is down in this little wrench here. So if you're on a different tab, just make sure you have your Suzanne selected and then click on this little wrench here. We're going to use this very, very often. Pretty much every time we come into Blender, we're going to use the modifiers tab. And so you can already see we have our bool tool modifiers, our Boolean modifiers. And that is this guy right here, the Boolean. Uh, but we're not going to add those. So let's just twiddle those up. So twiddle your little booleans up. And what's cool is we can always keep this kind of flexible design style open. For, so for the Suzanne here, I want you to double click on it and maybe put like dot original. This is our original Suzanne we have. And if you click on the flexible design and right click on it, you can duplicate that collection. And we can call this one maybe like low poly. So this is our low poly collection and instead of Suzanne original dot zero zero one we can just call that low poly and changing the name is going to be very helpful when we go to export our designs out and so that everything stays nice and um, organized and, and titled for us so we have Suzanne low poly and that's what we're going to do with this Suzanne here but notice we've got um, essentially like two Suzannes on top of each other so if I click on one of the Suzannes hit G and X We've got them right on top of each other. So we can just slide one over. You can always, you know, turn off your other flexible design there if you don't want to see it. Um, but we'll just leave it open for now. And now I'm on the Suzanne Low Poly. Notice we still have our Booleans happening and that everything transferred over to this other design here. And that's what you want. You want to make sure you have both of these wireframes connected to your Suzanne Monkey. And now let's add some modifiers. So modifiers, you can think of them just as effects and they're very powerful, very flexible, and just awesome. So we're going to use these pretty much every lesson we do with Blender. So if you're not seeing uh, the modifiers, make sure you have this little wrench tab selected and you'll see our bool tool eyes and our bool tool cube. So the modifier I want to talk to you all today about is the decimate modifier. I use this all the time. This is kind of like my secret weapon uh, for lowering file size, for making just cool low poly uh, designs. So just click in this ratio here and just start sliding this down right here. And notice as we're doing that, if you hit period on the numpad right here, you can zap to our design here. The Suzanne the low poly Suzanne is becoming more and more abstract by the second. And I just think that's a really cool look. Um, notice it's also doing it to the eyes and our base is still staying very flat. So this is very helpful all the time. Or say if you have a very high, um, you know, very huge file size, you can use the decimate to come in here and, and like lower the count. Um, Suzanne's pretty low poly already. Um, so it's pretty drastic uh, whenever we're uh, doing things and you don't want to go too far where, you know, she disappears or turns into that, but uh, you, know, you can get really cool results really fast um, for that. So that's the decimate. Um, there's also a lot more you can do with this uh, modifier, uh, but we also have the modifiers course on our, on our platform. We go into every single part of this modifier and what it does and how you can use it for 3D printing. But today we're just going to drop it down maybe like to maybe 0.3, something like that. That way we can still kind of tell it's a monkey, uh, but we're getting kind of a cool look and I'm happy with that. That looks pretty awesome. And so that is our first modifier, the decimate modifier. It's gonna be very helpful and very friendly uh, to a lot of your workflows. So it's a very good one to know. But let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where I'm gonna teach you about the subsurf modifier. So let's go ahead and jump on in it.